सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज अलिया सिंह सो बेसिकली वी हैव द क्वेश्चन एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू सम इक्वेशन एंड वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड द नाइक्विस्ट रेट सो बेसिकली द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ नाइक्विस्ट रेट इज दैट इट हेल्प्स टू अवॉइड द अलिया सिंह प्रॉब्लम दैट इज द ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ टू सिग्नल सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू फाइंड दैट सो नाइक्विस्ट रेट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज एफ ऑफ नाइक्विस्ट एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट इज ऑफ मैक्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द इक्वेशन so let's see that we have to find f1 f2 and f3 why three frequency because we have three terms okay let's see how we can find that now this term is omega 1 t this term is omega 2 t this term is omega 3 t so now omega is 2 pi f so using that we can find frequency all right so for first term let's say 2 2000 pi is equal to 2 pi f so you can see that pi pi cancels 2 2 cancels 1000 so the frequency of the first is 1000 hertz similarly for second is divide by 2 pi so we will get 3000 hertz for the third we get 6000 hertz now the highest among them is surely f3 so we have to multiply this by 2 so our nyquist rate is equal to 2 into 6000 that is 12000 hertz now somebody ask you what is nyquist interval nyquist interval nyquist interval is 1 by nyquist rate so 1 by you can say nyquist rate is this so 1 by and whatever the answer it should be in something of second so the units are also important Nyquist rate is in hertz. Nyquist interval is in seconds. So our second question is: We have to find the discrete signal x of n from the given signal x of t, and the question has the sampling frequency. So using the sampling frequency, we have to convert x of t into x of n. So let's see how we can do that. So we have to find x of n. now the question is how to convert this into this so you have to substitute t is equal to n by fs so what will be t now t is equal to n by fs is 5000 so if we substitute this in the question we will get x of n very simple so x of n is 2 times cos of 2000 pi t is now n by 5000 so similarly for rest So now you can see that every t term you can see t term is replaced by n by five thousand, okay. And after simplification of this, we get two cos zero point four n pi plus three sine zero point twelve pi and so on. So you, now you can see that the final answer is in terms of n, and we have converted x of t in x of n using the sampling frequency f s. Now the question is we have to reconstruct x of n back to x of t. All right. but now the problem is you can see that during reconstruction we have the range of omega between minus pi to pi so w1 so let's say omega 1 is 0.4 n pi sorry it is 0.4 pi so yes it is valid it is between minus pi to pi omega 2 it is from 0.1 to pi omega 3 is equal to 2.4 pi now you can see there is a problem here because our range is between minus pi to pi but it is exceeding from that so what we have to do is we have to convert this back into minus pi to pi so what we will do is subtract this value from 2 pi so our answer is 0.4 pi now you can see all of this are in the range minus pi to pi so that we can successfully convert this x of n back to x of t so previously we used t is equal to n by fs why because we have to convert x of t into x of n now we want x of t back so we can manipulate this equation as n is equal to fs into t so that we can get the x of t back okay so what we have to do x of now t is equal to 2 times cos of 0.4 pi n is changed to t into 5000 because fs was 5000 similarly for rest now you can see that wherever is the n n is converted into t into fs where fs is 
first point second point you can note that is omega 1 is 0 0.4 pi omega 2 is 0 0.12 pi whereas omega 3 is 0 0.4 pi because I said during reconstruction we can only reconstruct between minus pi to pi so we have converted this value and after multiplication between them we get the final answer so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aari ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट